project and it started in 2004. I was working for a company yeah. who did um, entertainment for internet, they did games and stuff. And then I was working as animator and um, I have a fashion background. So one day the director came to me and asked me, can you do some dances for Christmas for our, our stuff? So I started to design some jumpers with some characters and then I was playing with a steak and a cow and I thought it would be funny if the steak would follow the cow and uh, put arms in it and, and then my, my art director he came and said oh cool that's a steak zombies and then you know it kind of the, the idea was born of the steak zombie and um, it kind of happened to, to go into workshops and crafting characters. It was like um, free flow, you know, I just follow the things I like and then I ended up doing what I'm doing today. Heidi Ho is, is, is one of the characters. She's me, I'm her, so um, I had to in, in, invent her to, in order to um, be free to let her I, I can't do myself and um, uh, she became, uh, she's my, how do you say, alter ego and, and she, she um, became to uh, have a life on her own, like she smokes a lot, but she's yellow, you know, and I don't smoke anymore, but she carries on carrying these things I want to put she's kind of a naughty person. Very, how you shouldn't be, especially, you know, like not being very polite and this kind of thing. Just say what's in your mind and, and just be. And she do, she does all these things for me. And, uh, she's my mini me, you know, and then has has her own, own life. It's really nice because you can blame stuff on her. Now it's Heidi. Yeah, it's Heidi. Yeah. yeah. I wanted to do something for us adults because I think um, we haven't played enough. Like myself, I think I didn't haven't played enough when I was a child. So to, to have an opportunity like a playground for grown-ups, because for kids you have like a lot of options and, and offers to to go and, and play and start. But not for if you don't choose it as profession. It's a lot of fun for people to get involved and do these things. And, I, and, and when I started, it was an experiment. The very first workshop, when I didn't know if it would work, I thought it's hell of a lot, of, like a lot of fun for me, for myself. It should be fun for other people. But then people in the workshop came and they said, "Thank you so much. I forgot how." to use a sewing machine or how relaxing it is to craft or how much fun it is. No, that's what I really love about this, this thing. And I, I try to keep it, you know, like pretty reserve it for, for, for us, people like adults, because, you know, it's obvious to, to involve kids and, and I love kids and I want to do an extra workshop for kids. But not to kids forget about have their own chance. So, yeah, but not to forget about us. Uh -huh. We need to play, we need to have fun, you know, the world is serious, everything is so serious. Yes. Yes. You have to work and you have to make money and you have to do 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 you have to have to have to have to and you have to have fun, you have to smile, you have to laugh, you have to enjoy things and, and crafting is such a nice medium to relax and, and and then be creative and then let go and just talk you know. to other people. <laughs> What's his name? Hansen, Jim Hansen. Um, yeah, they are, they are like uh, a few people I really I love. Pictoplasma, you know, Pictoplasma. Yeah, I love them. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
totally. And I really like um, as a as a as a pendant to Pictoplasma. I like super like Pisano's blog as well. Mm -hmm. It's a really nice event. I think um, it's not a secret. It's quite obvious things, but still, it's not in you know it's in, it's not in in tourist books or, or things. You have to be a bit knowing a little bit. At least you have to know one person in London, and then people will bring you automatically to all these places like Columbia Flower Market, Broadway Market, Brick Lane. Brick Lane is, is, is already super, super famous and mm -hmm. almost commercial. In, 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 in summer to go around this spots and check out the flea markets and the galleries. I mean, I live here for five years and I haven't been in the London Eye yet, but I saw the, the London Aquarium, mm -hmm. which is a really cool place to be, and the Natural History Museum. There's a lot to see, a lot, a lot, but um, if you know you want to have some fun and, 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 and um, a relaxed time, then, then go to the flower market and this kind of thing. Mm. Yeah. Great, nice. Yeah. I'm also Aquarius. Yeah? Yeah! yeah. <laughs> when is his birthday? 22nd of January.